All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta, Learn Form Validation by Building a Calorie Counter, Step 53. All right. So the insert adjacent HTML method takes two arguments. The first argument is a string that specifies the position of the inserted element. And the second argument is a string containing the HTML to be inserted, all right? So for the first argument, we're gonna pass the string before end to insert the new element as the last child of the target input container, all right? Uh, and for the second argument, we're gonna pass our HTML string variable, okay. Well, this time, let's go check out the uh, insert adjacent HTML uh, MDM page. So let's come over here. We just put insert adjacent HTML in the Google bar. And uh, as usual, the web doc comes up first. And we'll see here in the syntax, we've got position and text, okay? So this position is gonna be a string representing the position relative to the element. And it must be one of the following strings, right? So this is before begin, which is before the element. It's only valid if the element is in the DOM tree and has a parent element. What does this mean? Uh, we'll learn that later. Uh, after begin is just inside the element before the first child. Before end, which is what we're gonna use, is just inside the element after the last child. And then after end is after the element, only valid if the element is in the DOM tree and has a parent element. Okay, so yeah, that's something we're gonna have to chat GPT one day, uh, one day after today. So we're, what we're gonna do, let's just copy this. Before end right here, we'll copy that and uh, bring it right here as the first argument, drop it off thusly, all right? Let's have a comma right there and we're gonna drop off this HTML string as the second argument, all right? So this should take care of business. Let's come over here and add entry, all right? So first thing, let's have some brownies for breakfast at 500 calories. And then let's add another entry. Let's put uh, ice cream. Let's have some ice cream at uh, 1,000 calories. <laughs> what, a, what a good breakfast. So some Wheaties. Wheaties to round it out, make it a little more healthy, right? At, at 140 calories. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it looks like it's doing what we, pardon me, what we needed to do. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right, now we're on to step 54 and we'll see you next time.